The undulating waves of anxiety, an emotion so profoundly human yet often misunderstood, can be likened to the very strokes of a master swordsman's blade, sharp, piercing, but essential to mastery. At first glance, anxiety is often seen as a debilitating force. It's that knot in the stomach, the restlessness of the mind, the sleepless nights staring at the ceiling. It holds people captive, making them prisoners of their own thoughts. To many, Anxiety is a hindrance, a barrier to living a full life. However, through the haze of this overwhelming emotion, we find moments of clarity, catalysts of growth, and even sources of unparalleled motivation. Enter Miyamoto Musashi, a name that resonates not only in the annals of Japan's rich history, but also within the hearts and minds of warriors, thinkers, and seekers worldwide. While tales of his duels and strategic genius are legendary, Few dive into the depth of his psyche to understand the interplay of anxiety in shaping his journey. Musashi, like many of us, grappled with anxiety. But rather than letting it consume him, he channeled it, using its energy to forge his path, refine his skills, and deepen his philosophical insights. In this exploration, we will journey through Musashi's life, understanding how he turned what many perceive as a weakness into one of his most potent allies. For in the shadows of anxiety, we often find the brilliance of greatness waiting to be unveiled. The Young Samurai Initial Encounters with Anxiety Amidst the tales of Musashi's numerous victories and legendary duels, there exists the lesser-known narrative of a young Musashi, whose life was anything but linear. As the sun set on his childhood years, the looming challenges of adolescence emerged. During these years, the complexities of life expanded, and with it, anxiety often found its way into the heart of the young samurai. Growing up without the guiding hand of his parents and thrust into a world of responsibility and expectations, Musashi's initial brushes with the world weren't filled with the glories of triumph, but with the stinging lessons of defeat and the heavy weight of doubt. These moments, filled with raw emotion and internal turmoil, laid the foundation for his introspective journey. But rather than being cowed by these feelings, Musashi took them as cues. Every anxious thought, every uncertain step became an opportunity for self-assessment and growth. These early episodes of anxiety didn't hinder him. Instead, they became the whetstone against which he sharpened his spirit and skills. Just as steel needs to undergo the chaos of a forge to emerge as a blade, Musashi's internal adversities acted as the crucible for his evolution. As we tread further into his life, we'll uncover how these foundational experiences with anxiety paved the way for the legend he was destined to become. Anxiety as a Motivator Driving Ambition Upon entering the chapter of Musashi's prime, it's easy to picture him as the indomitable force he's often portrayed as. However, beneath the calm demeanor and the steel-clad confidence lay the subtle undertones of anxiety that continued to pulse through his veins. Rather than shunning it, Musashi channeled these restless energies as catalysts, pushing him further on his path. There's a delicate dance between complacency and ambition. Where many might have settled into their accomplishments, the underlying anxiety Musashi felt drove him to push boundaries, never truly resting on his laurels. This wasn't the paralyzing anxiety that keeps one rooted in fear, but an invigorating kind that spurred him into action. It whispered to him during quiet nights, reminding him that there was always another horizon, another challenge waiting just out of sight. Musashi's greatness wasn't just a result of his talent, but was propelled by his relationship with his own internal struggles. It was this anxiety that became the invisible hand, guiding him towards continuous growth. It served as a reminder that even in mastery, there's always room for improvement, refinement, and evolution. In the vast landscape of Musashi's journey, anxiety was not the enemy, but the unsung ally, inspiring a drive that would carve out the legend of the greatest samurai. Strategic Preparation, the foresight born from fear. As the chapters in Musashi's life unfolded, one could discern a pattern. His every move seemed calculated, every decision deliberate. But what birthed this meticulous approach? Delve deeper and you'll find that beneath this careful orchestration simmered a familiarity with anxiety. Rather than allowing it to hinder him, 
Musashi converted these feelings into a potent weapon of foresight. The battlefield is a realm of uncertainties. From sudden changes in the opponent's strategies to unexpected environmental factors, unpredictability lurked at every corner. Yet Musashi's acquaintance with anxiety acted as an internal alarm, making him acutely aware of potential pitfalls and challenges. It was as if anxiety whispered secrets of the unknown into his ear, nudging him to be ever vigilant. This heightened sense of alertness compelled him to train harder, think deeper, and prepare with an intensity that few could match. Where most saw anxiety as a burden, Musashi recognized it as an ally that provided a nuanced perspective, allowing him to anticipate the ebb and flow of combat scenarios. By understanding and harnessing his anxiety, Musashi converted what many would consider a weakness into a distinct strategic advantage. He realized that in preparation, there lay power. Power to convert fear into foresight, to transmute nervous energy into action, and to ensure that even in the face of the most daunting challenges, he remained several steps ahead. This was Musashi's genius, turning internal battles into external triumphs. The Two Swords, Balancing Fear and Courage Emerging from the shadows of Musashi's strategic foresight came an emblematic representation of his internal dichotomy, the Nitin Ichiryu, or the dual sword style. A masterful blend of offense and defense, this style is symbolic of Musashi's journey with anxiety and his relentless pursuit of balance. At the heart of the Nitin Ichiryu is a dance between two contrasting entities, much like the dance between fear and courage. One sword, representing the immediacy of action, was often driven by the impulse that arises from fear. The other, symbolic of patience and deliberate motion, rooted in courage and precision. Musashi, through countless battles and introspection, identified that it wasn't about vanquishing fear but rather coexisting with it. Anxiety, with its sharp twinge, became the prompt for one sword, urging swiftness and instinctive reactions. In contrast, his accumulated wisdom and courage guided the other, ensuring that haste didn't lead to recklessness. Thus, his unique fighting style wasn't just a display of skill, but a physical manifestation of his inner journey, where anxiety and composure, fear and bravery coalesced into a harmonious rhythm of life and combat. Solitary Reflections The Power of Introspection As the echoes of clashing swords faded, Musashi often retreated into the embrace of solitude. Far from the tumultuous arenas of battle, he sought havens of quiet, be it dense forests or secluded caves. This deliberate isolation wasn't a flight from society, but a voyage inward, seeking clarity amidst the chaos. Within the silent walls of introspection, Musashi grappled with his anxiety. Rather than allowing it to consume him, he chose to converse with it. Each moment of solitude became an opportunity to understand the root of his fears and apprehensions. By acknowledging them, he could then transform these unsettling feelings into profound insights. Anxiety in the hush of isolation transformed from a looming shadow into a guide. It showed him areas of improvement, unveiled hidden vulnerabilities, and highlighted strengths he wasn't aware of. Musashi's introspective periods became sessions of growth, where he could channel the raw energy of anxiety into refining his skills, both as a warrior and as a human being. Embracing the Uncomfortable, Training in Adverse Conditions from the preceding silences of self-reflection, Musashi emerged with a profound realization. Comfort was the enemy of mastery. While many sought training grounds that facilitated ease, Musashi deliberately chose the opposite. From the rain-drenched forests to the snow-capped peaks, he put himself in the harshest environments, turning the very elements into his sparring partners. These extreme landscapes were not mere backdrops, but active participants in his training. Battling against howling winds or maintaining balance on slippery terrains, Musashi realized that nature's unpredictability mirrored life's uncertainties and the anxiety they brought. By placing himself in these challenging conditions, he was simulating, in a tangible manner, the unpredictable battles he would face with foes, and more importantly, with his internal anxieties. This rigorous training was a crucible, molding both his physical agility and mental fortitude. Every drop of sweat in the biting cold, every cut from the swirling sands of a desert storm, refined him. Musashi believed that by immersing oneself in discomfort, by making friends with anxiety, one could master not just the art of the sword, but the very art of living. 
Each challenging session was an external representation of his internal battles, pushing him to confront, adapt, and eventually harness his anxieties. Through this relentless pursuit, he transformed what most saw as hindrances, discomfort, and anxiety into the very tools for his unparalleled greatness. Legacy of the Lone Samurai Impact on Modern Interpretations From gripping novels that capture his life's essence to films that bring his samurai spirit to the silver screen, Musashi's story resonates with many. Even today, martial arts dojos worldwide revere and teach his dual sword techniques, bearing testimony to his timeless influence. But more than just his fighting style, it's Musashi's relationship with anxiety that stands as a beacon for many today. As our modern world grapples with an epidemic of anxiety, the lone samurai emerges as a figure of inspiration. He exemplifies the transformative power of recognizing and harnessing one's internal struggles. Musashi's journey is a testament. Anxiety, often viewed as a crippling emotion, can also be a catalyst. It reminds us that beneath the weight of our worries lies dormant potential. Like Musashi, by confronting and understanding our anxieties, we too can carve paths to greatness. The Final Duel, Facing One's Own Legacy After decades of duels, relentless training, and profound introspection, Musashi carved an unparalleled name for himself. His journey was not merely defined by the scars on his body, but also by the invisible weight of the legacy he was sculpting with each passing day. Being revered as the undefeated samurai brought with it not just admiration, but an enormous burden. Every step he took was watched, every decision analyzed. With such a towering reputation, the most formidable opponent Musashi might have faced in his later years was the shadow of his own past. The anxiety of consistently living up to the standards he himself had set, of being the legend everyone saw him as, was a battle that couldn't be won with swords. This internal conflict was a stark contrast to his youthful days when he was an underdog striving to make a mark. Just as the dual swords in Musashi's Niten Ichiryu had to be balanced perfectly for maximum efficacy, the legacy he bore had its own duality. On one edge, his achievements stood as testaments to his brilliance, skill, and dedication. They were sources of immense pride and respect, paving the way for future martial artists and thinkers. However, the other edge of this legacy was sharp with the challenges of upholding it. The accomplishments brought with them the fear of stagnation and the perpetual challenge of outdoing oneself. This duality served as a constant reminder. While external foes might wane over time, the internal battles, shaped by anxiety and self-reflection, rage on. As we transition towards understanding how this interplay of pride, legacy, and internal battles molded Musashi's final teachings, it becomes evident that the true essence of a warrior lies not just in his victories, but in the lessons drawn from a lifetime of duels, both external and internal. In the intricate dance of life, where challenges and adversities whirl around us, anxiety often plays the lead. But as we've journeyed through Musashi's life, it becomes evident that this emotion, typically seen as a foe, can indeed be an ally. His legacy isn't just about being an unparalleled swordsman, it's about the resilience of the human spirit in the face of internal tumult. Musashi's experiences prompt us to question our perceptions. Do we let anxiety overpower us, or do we harness its energy, channeling it into our ambitions? He turned his anxiety into a sharpened blade, cutting through doubts and propelling himself to legendary status. For us, the message is clear. Embrace the uncomfortable, challenge the norms, and let anxiety be the fire that tempers your steel. As we step forward, let's carry Musashi's lessons with us, viewing anxiety not as an insurmountable mountain, but as a stepping stone towards achieving our own brand of greatness.